Does it matter if you're late to the party if you're the best dressed? Let's check out the brand new Specialized Levo SL Gen 2. Riders, welcome back to Sands Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes, and I'm super excited. Today, it's all about the brand new Specialized Levo SL Gen 2, and I've ridden it, and Riders, wow. Just wow. And in this video, we're gonna go over all the specs of the new Specialized Levo SL. We're also gonna talk about my first thoughts of the half an hour ride that I did on this bike. Absolute beast. And also, all the tests I have in mind, because it is a new motor, and riders, we have questions, don't we? And a massive shout out to Insta360, the long-term sponsor of Sam's Bikes. I've been using the X3 for the last six months. I absolutely love this camera. I love how immersive it is. I love it. it's got a 360 lens, also a 4K action lens. And also I'm saying it's got drone-like footage. If you put it on the selfie stick, you can get that third person look. I absolutely love it. So a massive shout out to Insta360 and riders link in the show notes where to get the best deals on Insta360 products. The Levo SL was released in early 2020 and it was an absolute game changer for me. It was the first electric mountain bike that felt like an analog bike out in the trails and I absolutely loved it. Since then, the market has matured and it seems like every major mountain bike company has an SL in their lineup. And the original SL was somewhat overshadowed but not now and not today. The brand new Levo SL Gen 2 is rolling on mullet wheels or it's 29 compatible, six way geometry change and the brand new Turbo SL 1.2 motor, which is whisper quiet and has 50 Nm of power and 43% more torque and 33% more power than the original 1.1 motor a 320 watt hour internal battery and 160 watt hour range extender is available. And in the S-Works, it's coming in at 17.7 kilos. I told you riders, that's impressive. Where many bike manufacturers take inspiration from outside their brand, Specialized has kept it all in house, taking the styling from the Levo Gen 3, the geometry from the award-winning stunt jumper Evo, and finishing unfinished business with the Levo SL motor, making it next to silent and upping the peak power from 240 watts to 320. And they've done it in true Specialized style. This bike is refined. It's not trying to stand out from the crowd. It's just gonna let your riding do the talking. And I absolutely love the S-Works matte black with the silver graphics. For me, it's gotta be the best looking turbo e-bike to date. So riders, as I said, I was lucky enough to test the Levo SL Gen 2 S-Works for about 25 minutes. Unfortunately, the brakes were on the wrong side, so I couldn't really test it. But these are my first thoughts. First off, it looks amazing. It definitely looks like a bike from 2023. It's just really refined, really slick. And the new SRAM running gear, it does make it look very futuristic. And riders, if you're a fan of the channel, you would know I'm not a fan of SRAM brakes, but the new ones are pretty amazing. I'm gonna have to do some more testing, but if you close your eyes, they felt like they had this really nice, sort of solid uh, tactile feel, a little bit like Shimano. So I was really impressed, gotta do some more testing on that. And there's no denying the new Levo SL Gen 2 looks a lot like the Levo Gen 3. And that's a good thing because they're both super beautiful bikes. But when you pick it up, this one at 17.7 kilos in the S-Works, amazing, super light. And when you sit on it, I had the S4 in the Levo SL Gen 2, which has a 470 mil reach. And then in my Levo Gen 3, S4 has a 477, so it's just a little bit back, but it felt very reminiscent, and I really, really wanted to ride this bike hard, but unfortunately the brakes were on the wrong side round. But I'm getting my test bike very soon, and I hear you riders say, but Sam, what about the motor? That's why we're here, the new 1.2. Okay, of course, I put it in turbo and looked for a nasty pinch climb. And I'm gonna say, riders, you can definitely feel the extra power of the 50 Nm. So let's say if you know the original 35 1.1, let's say you're in turbo on that, it feels like on this one, you have another assistant mode, 
like nitro or something like that. That's what it feels like. And also, the motor is so much quieter. It is whisper quiet. In turbo, you can just hear a bit of the motor. And how Specialized have done that is they've used like a double motor housing with honeycomb and that actually dissipates the sound. Anyway, riders, that was the first 25 minutes. I need more time on this bike. I'm definitely getting one. So riders, make sure you subscribe to Sam's Bikes because in the coming weeks, I will be getting this bike. Okay, let's have a look at the geometry in an S4, which is kind of a large, and that would be the right size for me, being 183 centimeters or around six foot. We got reach numbers of 470 mil, head tube angle of 63, or 64.6 or 65.5. Seat tube angle 75.8 and wait for it riders. If you're a fan of the channel, you would know I love a short chain stay. And the new Levo SL Gen 2 in a mullet has a 432 millimeter chain stay. Sign me up. We also have a flip chip in the chain stay, making it from 27.5 to 29er. And it also has a flip chip here in the shock area that you can lift or drop the bottom bracket by five mil. So riders, I think you would agree, this bike is a hugely customizable bike. And also, I'm gonna say, I absolutely love that the sizing war is over, making bikes longer and longer and longer. So the S4 in a reach has 470 mils. And I've been saying it for years, we're all riding bikes that are too big for us. So I'm loving the geo and the sizing of this bike. The brand new Levo SL Gen 2 will be available in six sizes, which is super impressive, and four models. The Comp Carbon, 7,900 euros. The Pro, 11,500. The S-Works, 14,000. And the super beautiful S-Works frame kit for 7,000 euros. Okay, Ryder, so what do I think of the brand new Levo SL Gen 2? I think Specialized have done it again. It's an absolutely beautiful, refined electric mountain bike that does look like it comes from 2023. I love that it's 160, 150 of suspension. A lot of the bikes are coming out 150, 140. And I find the 160, 150 just a more versatile bike. You can take it to the bike park, you can take it to the trail center, and you can ride your local trails. Just more versatile. I love the six-way geometry change. I love that it comes as a mullet out of the box but you can change it to a 29er. I think Specialized have done something really special here, but riders, you know it's not always gravy. The things I don't like about the new Levo SL Gen 2. I think with a chain stay of 432, which I absolutely love, and also with a mullet, I think the less experienced riders might find the bike a little bit nervous. That is a very short chain stay. I would like to see possibly in the future this bike come stock with a 29 wheel in the back. And maybe Specialized could do that if you ordered it online, they could change that wheel out. Because if you buy it like this, especially if you buy the S-Works at 14, you're gonna to have to spend another four or 500 euros on getting a 29 wheel. The 170 mil cranks. I have a Kineva SL in an S4, and it has 170 mil cranks. Now, I think on an e-bike 165 or 160, is perfect. And also, the original Levo SL really liked to be in high cadences. So shorter cranks allow you to be in high cadences. And also, you don't get those nasty pedal strikes. So I probably think it would be better at 160, but again, I'd have to do some testing. And the last point, which I'm not sure it should go into, it's not all gravy, I need to do some more testing. So the original Levo SL, 1.1 had a 320 watt hour battery and that had 35 newton meters of power. And the new one has 50 newton meters of power and a 320 watt hour battery. So power's gone up and the battery stayed the same size. So my first question when I'm going out testing, which is gonna be happening so soon, riders, so smash that subscribe button, is I'm gonna be putting the original SL 1.1 motor in my Kinevo SL back to back against the new one and see how that range is. And I'm also gonna test it against my Levo Gen 3, just so you riders know what sort of bike you should be buying because the SLs are definitely a different style of bike. So we're gonna be doing that and also 
gonna obviously do my 100K shakedown, and then later on, maybe in about six weeks, I'll do my long-term glossy review. Anyway, riders, I hope you enjoyed the first look of the Specialized Levo SL Gen 2. I think it's a very special bike. I cannot wait to get mine. And riders, you know it, stay safe out there, and we're gonna see you next week.